What's going on everyone? Ryan here and I'm rocking my official merch so you can buy yours in the description below. So here is a quick tutorial on how to find parts or alternative to parts that are out of stock on Mazer.com. So this is going to be helpful for my projects or any other audio projects. Um, I guess it could extend to any other types of projects. But I'm going to guess that if you're on my channel, you're going to be looking to either build your own amplifier or a guitar pedal. And I know that like Mad Bean Pedals and a few other companies uh, that provide circuit boards do have Mauser build materials, otherwise known as bombs, on basically a project list, a link that you can click on that sends you to Mauser's uh, site. You click uh, Add to Cart, and then boom, you can order exactly what you need. But the problem is... Sometimes, especially in this global economy, the way it is, there's sourcing issues and you need to kind of identify the part that's out of stock and find an alternative, either it's within the same brand or instead of a real package that you, that you cut, it's a loose bag of the same component. It's exactly the same component, but it's going to have a different part number and Mauser is very, very selective on that. And they're, you know, it's going to show is out of stock if that particular type is out of stock. Um, or even the packaging is out of stock. It's not important. So here I am on my site. I do get requests almost every other day, like, hey, this is out of stock. I need you to update this. Well, I kind of want to show you how you can be, uh, kind of bring you to water and how you can find the alternatives, parts that are um, going to help you finish your project or get started on your project. So... Uh, and it's just impossible for me to every single day go and see what the global supply <laughs> chain issues are and, and, I, and fix that on my site. I'll do my best, but I think this is going to be the best for you and me. So on my site, you see here's my projects. I go in and I have a bomb list which launches into Google Sheets. The main reason why I use Google Sheets for all of this is because I can easily update this without updating my website every single time. Um, and you're going to notice that there's a Mauser easy order selection. This is very common nowadays. Mauser is wonderful about having it easy for anyone to kind of click on a shopping cart. Remember when I said you just order project times one and away you go. But the problem is sometimes you get things in here that are back ordered. And that sucks because sometimes it will take a long time. Let's see what this tells you. No stock, 10,000 are on order, and it's not going to be here until December. Now, that's a bunch of months away right now when I'm making this video. So um, that's just not going to work for some people's timelines. Let's find an alternative part. What I like to do is right-click and enter a new tab. Why do I like to enter a new tab? Because it's easy for me to go back and see how many... If I do find something that's similar, the same specs, how many do I need? So I can just easily toggle back and forth. So this is the original part that I had, it's Coa Spear, blah, blah, blah. And in this particular case, there's a few parameters with a resistor that I'm looking for. Uh, specifically, the, uh, the resistance is important. The wattage is definitely important. The tolerance, let's keep a note of that. But you see there's already nine products with just these few um, kind of filters applied. The next thing I wanna sort of look out for is the diameter and length. Be careful though, because if I select 2.3, zero products are available, and then you know that's gonna make me really upset. But if I select 6.3, it's just the length, what's going on here? There's four products now. So something about diameter, is being very specific. As long as you're within, you know, a couple points of a millimeter, uh, you should be all right. But let's see what kind of results we have for this part that's out of stock. Now remember, it's out of stock. Okay, there's another brand. We did um, Koa Spear before, and it seems like just all y Yagyo. And remember how I said about the 2.3 and there was zero, but now, this particular part is 2.4 millimeter. The length is 6.3. So as long as some other parameters line up, okay, 9.1, cool. Let's see if it's 1%, 1%. This is a solid alternative part. And guess what? You can also use the same technique to find a cheaper part. 
So let's just say you stumble upon a Mauser project bomb and the, you know, it's kind of an expensive part. I don't know why, but sometimes the packaging will increase the part cost by like a dollar. Maybe another brand has it for a little cheaper. So as long as the quantity is around what you want, this is a good alternative. One more trick you can do is I'm just going to hit the back button on my mouse real quick is I'm going to compare this product. So remember, this is the one that's out of stock and I'm going to go through and, um, well, I've already compared uh, some other things in advance, but let me see if I can remove those just for the time being. Okay. Remove. All right. So pretend like that didn't happen. We're just going to go here. We're going to right click open new tab. So pretend like this is fresh. We're going to compare the product. Okay. Now there's one and we're going to go and select alternatives. So maybe this is a good thing to do right off the bat. And then the 6.3. All right. Show similar. All right. And we're going to see the same component that we saw earlier. I'm going to hit the compare button again over here, compare selected up to 20. Well, now it's going to side by side show you the original part that's out of stock, of course. And the right hand side is the part that we just selected. So Yo uh, Yagio and Coaspear, check this out. You know, maybe this is a little bit easier for you to determine if this is a solid alternative. The temperature ratings are good. The uh, wattage is the same. Um, that's remember what the reason why I asked, I said, um, you know, try not to rely on the series series is good if you want to stay within the same vendor. But in this case, the same other parameters are available, just not the series name. If you selected that you would be having a results of zero, um, because this would not show up as a result. So this looks good. And we're going to tab back here and how many do I need? All right, well, I need two. So I'm going to go back into my part. I'm going to go ahead and say, well, I need two. And there's 7,000 that can be sent in immediately. So I'm going to hit buy. And that's going to help continue shopping. Um, yep, going to go do that. Now I'm going to go at the very, very top here, hit order project one. And that's cool because now in my shopping cart, it's going to have everything as long as the internet loads here. Um, it's going to list my project. Oh, I guess it's loading my cart right now. So here's my project and everything. We're going to go down and because we know that we already searched and found an alternative, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Confirm the deletion because that 9.1 is actually probably at the very top. Yep, here it is. And we're going to slowly go down, look, all right, it looks like everything is in stock and can be shipped now. Guess what? I just got myself out of a jam. Really cool, right? So let's select another part real quick that is important. And that is capacitors. These things go out of stock a lot. You know, it, kind of, it sucks. But I'm going to go ahead and let's pretend like this one's out of stock. Some of the things I'm looking for is not so much a series, unless you really want to try to see if there's a series. Let's go ahead for fun. All right. Well, why is there 170? Well, it's because we don't have the same microfarad. Okay. Um, lead spacing on this one. Be careful because five and 5.05 .05 or 5.08 are very close to each other. I'm just going to unselect that now and I'm going to, sort of pay attention more towards the width and the length. I'm going to go ahead and hit show similar. All right. So what are some of the differences here that I see? Oh, 5% versus 10% tolerance. Look at that. It jumps over a dollar. So maybe the Mauser bomb that you have shows the more expensive part and you're trying to save all your pennies that you can because of inflation or whatever, uh, maybe you want to just be okay with 10%. Just fine. Go for it. Remember how I was talking about the 5.08 versus, okay, uh, five. Those are all right. Let's delete that series over here, that filter. And now we have a couple other brands. Hmm. Interesting. And remember, all I, all I did was just remove the lead spacing. 
it looks like, and I still have the length, the capacitance, and the width. These are important, and capacitance. As long as the voltage is good, which everything looks kind of good so far. Check this out. I'm looking, look, lead spacing, five millimeters. So now if I filtered on 5.08, I would not have this as a result opportunity. So 5.08, five, those are all gonna be the same. So let's, for example, hit this and that, and at the very top, we're gonna hit compare selected. And we are gonna still have those um, resistors, so why don't we go ahead, get rid of those for now, or you can keep it just as long as you're uh, aware of what you're doing there and what you're comparing. So let's go down the list. Polyester, polyester, 11 millimeters, lead diameter, you know, remember how we identified this? Straight, straight. Everything about this one, which is a different brand, you know, voltage rating is higher is better. Um, and if you're doing, finding electrolytic capacitors, alternative for electrolytic capacitors, the same thing applies where you're just looking for um, basically the width of your device and the length of your device and the lead spacing um, voltage, anything above 25 in a guitar pedal, perfectly fine. In guitar amps, I would be a little bit more careful about your voltage, but this is a great alternative. So I hope you found this useful. And if you enjoyed what you've seen here, please subscribe if you're not new or if you are new, you know, welcome to my page and uh, my YouTube. I do build amplifiers. I try to teach um, folks along the way, whether you are into the do-it-yourself scene or you just are curious about what it takes to design, build your own guitar amplifier or guitar pedal. That's what I'm here for. I love doing that. I love teaching. I love inspiring. Um, some people have additional income based on my YouTube videos and they go and build their own boxes, box them up, sell them. So that's kind of cool. Stick around. I hope to talk with you guys all soon. Bye.